Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how can you do your incremental load using SSIS, right? So first, what is incremental load? So you have your source table and you have your destination or a target. So uh, uh, let's say you have a new customer in your source, right? So you need to push that new customer into your target uh, instead of moving all the customers into your target by deleting and up deleting and inserting each and every time, right? So that's going to be a lot of memory issues, a lot of performance issues and whatnot, right? So only whatever is a new customers or new records, that is the only records that will be inserted into your target. So how do you identify that? So you just need to identify that by comparing both your source and target, right? So if you identify them as a new, right, what you do is basically just insert it into your target. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, uh, there is a customer whose last name is changed, right, for example. So what happens at that time is basically uh, the customer is an existing customer. He's already there in the system, right? So all that you need to do is you don't have to, uh, uh, you know, insert a new record and delete the previous record. All that you do is just uh, go to the update route and then just update that customer's last name, right? And then just, uh, you know, uh, make the changes in the target. That's it, right? I'm going to show you guys that also. Uh, also, let's say, for example, if a customer leaves my company, right so he needs to be removed from the target right uh, the best approach is you don't have to remove him you, you, you don't have to delete the customer from the target database all that what you do is you just need to create a new column called as uh, is deleted right in that column you'll just say that uh, a true or false if the customer is uh, still in the company you'll just make him make him as uh, false if a customer leaves the company right you'll just say as uh, you know uh, make him as uh, true which means customer has left right so i'm going to show you guys all of these one by one so now let's open the ssdt and let's go into the ssis all right so here i'm going to start a new project new integration services project integration services let's just keep it as uh, incremental low right let's name project for that All right, i don't need that i'm just going to close that okay perfect so what you need to do first is basically uh, bring in your data flow task to your control flow if you haven't worked in SSIS, please watch the other video that's in the uh, pop-up card. Uh, first, watch that. So that will show you control flow, data flow, and all of these different things. You can watch that, do that first, and then come back to this one. But uh, you're uh, most welcome to look into this video and try it by yourself as well. Right? So first thing, what I'm going to do here is basically I'm going to create a data flow task. Let's rename it as, uh, you know, insert and update date sounds good okay so within that i'm gonna bring in my uh, uh, first thing is first is i need to uh, bring in my source table so i'll bring in my oil the oil adb source all right so i'm gonna open that so i need to configure this right so there isn't any connection managers i need to open a new one so there is a connection manager but let's create a new one i'm going to delete that i want to create a new connection manager this time my data is uh, located in my local host just keep a dot and that's my local host or you can also say local host and connect to it same thing All right so now uh, this is how i establish my connection to my uh, you know my oldb source you okay then that's going to show me the list of tables i have inside All right uh i'm gonna connect to my source table and i'll show you how the source table looks like so let's connect to the source table first now let me show you guys how my source table looks like so this is my database i have my source table here i have my source then i have my target right you see this is my source and this is my target target has no records my source has 10 records right clean so uh, my source has finance key, date key, organization key, department group key, scenario key, account key, amount and date. So this is basically a fact table or transaction table, right? 
in the target is basically again I have my all of these right so on the if you see there is an extra column called is deleted right so this is where uh, you will be applying your logic here this uh, deleted logic here right which will come back so what we're gonna do here is basically we're gonna first things first uh, we we're gonna take all the records from the source table and load it into the target table right and then uh, that's the insert piece and then uh, when we'll make some changes to this table and then see if that's getting reflected in the target table as well right so uh, i just pointed to my source table here right so and then uh, what we'll also do is we'll point it to a destination table so let's bring in our oldb destination yeah it's here okay so we'll destination uh you know it needs uh, so th this is this is where you connect your target table right so before that you need to do a comparison how do you compare there's a couple of ways you can do this task i'm going to show you guys a lookup operation you can also do this using your merge statement and all but uh, that will be uh, another video but uh, this is a uh, this is also a very effective one so see here you just connect your oldb source to your lookup uh, task right so within your lookup task what it's going to do is it's going to first get the data from your uh, source system right and then uh, it's going to say it's going to be a full catch mode oldb connection manager so it's going to say how to handle the rows with no matching entries i'll say redirect to no match output no problem go to the connection here you have to connect your target database right so this is the task that's going to compare the incoming source with your target which you configure here so let's go ahead and configure your target uh, so where is my target yeah at the last i have a target table i can see a preview as well there is nothing inside here right now and i can see the columns so how do i uh, compare my source with my target i'm going to use my finance key to compare that with the finance key in the target right so perfect so uh so that has been connected right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go exit that and i'm gonna connect that to my oldb destination right so this destination is only gonna handle the insert the insert right so for insert what you do is no match output whenever the output is not matching whenever there is a key mismatch which means that there is a new insertion the source right so those will be uh, you know inserted into your target database just go inside just go back here fast load is fine so you just go here and get your target table where is it i think it's a little bit inside so target table right so perfect so mapping so again you just need to map it out it's all it's automatic uh, to do the mapping but uh, yeah if you see in your target you'll have is deleter that will be not that will not be mapped right so that's going to be a manual update which will be uh, done in the next step okay so now the this is the insert so if you have a now right now there is no records in your target all the data from the source it's going to get compared with your target which is going to be no match there's no, no records so obviously there's going to be no match so it's going to insert everything from the source into the target right so this is for insert now let's do the delete sorry now let's do the update now let's do the update so what you do here is basically bring in your oldb command let's put it here perfect and then you bring in uh, another uh, you know another uh, precedence constraint from your lookup and that's going to be this time match so this is a no match uh, output new customers and this is will be like existing customers right who and let's say for example if they change their last name or something you need to update those ones right so go inside that uh let's configure the connection manager the connection manager is going to be the oldb connection manager which we already set uh again here it's going to be an sql command that we have to write like an update statement i already made it here so i'm just going to put my update statement here so it's going to be updating the target table right you see here you have a lot of parameters here first parameter will be parameter zero 
that will be that will have the date key with that right from the source that date key will be stored in the parameter 0 so that will be replaced here so for parameter 1 is going to be organization key and likewise right so let's go ahead and do that so date key is going to be parameter 0 organization key is parameter 1 department is parameter 2 scenarios 3 account key is 4 amount is going to be 5 date is going to be 6 right and then the seventh one is going to be finance key why is that right so like you saw before so finance key comes at the last right it's basically a um, it's basically a find and replace kind of thing it's basically wherever this uh, parameter is located it's depend on that it doesn't matter in your column or in your schema where your finance key sits even though it sits at the first in your sql command where you specify that column uh, is where it the parameter is going to be replaced so that is exactly why uh, the finance key is going to be parameter 7 but you can try it out it's going to work so yeah so your insert and uh, insert and update is configured now let's see how you can uh, get this done so i'm just gonna go back here so you have your task here you can also execute from here i'm gonna execute from here actually all right so as you know the target didn't had any uh, data before now let's take a look into your target now you know like uh, didn't had anything before now if you again refresh this you see all the data from the source will all be in the target right now right so that's basically your insert statement if you see here that's your insert so the insert has worked right now so uh, the target didn't had any records all the data from the source has been moved into your target now let's do the update all right for update what i'm going to show you is basically uh, the source table let's say one of the amount we have changed right so i show I, I was talking about the customer last name change and all but let's you know the same thing here again you have your table one of the columns one of the rows has been changed right let's say in this case the amount has been changed right let's say from 380 it became 999 uh, you know 9999 right so source in the source the amount has been changed right the target it will not be changed right because uh, you didn't run your uh, etl package so now what we're going to do is we'll go back and then run the same package and i'll show you how it's going to get executed so again let's do execute task so at this moment if you see all the so records that you had in source will all be there in your target that is why it's all going redirecting into your match output if you see the no match output is zero because everything is matching so that's why it all goes to the match output and now let's see what happens in your target now this 380 if i again refresh this table it's going to show that 999 that you have in your source let's uh, refresh see that's it 999 right likewise you can play around changing different uh, different rows here and it'll all be changed as soon as you run your package it'll all be changed because what the lookup task is going to do uh, go ahead and do is it's going to go to each and every row and then that's going to compare that with the uh, with the target table right so it, whatever has been changed will all be changed uh, will, will all be you know reflected in your target so that's the advantage of using your uh, lookup task right so um so that's about insert and update the next video i'm going to show you guys how can i do your delete right